Hey guys, welcome to the video. And for those who are looking for the Hacking Modding Monday news and info, I'm going to unfortunately have to postpone it till tomorrow, Tuesday, because I was just way too busy today. And this video here was a little bit quicker, plus a lot of people are having issues regarding uh, their modded switches with this newest update and the SIG patches. There's a lot of people out there that are confused about the SIG patches, can't get their games to work and whatnot. So I figured it's kind of an emergency and we needed to make this video. So be on the lookout tomorrow for Hacking Modding Tuesday news and info. Okay, so this video is targeted for those of you who have a modded switch, who have updated to 10.0.0 and who use Atmosphere, whether it's plain Jane vanilla Atmosphere or whether it's a Hecate Atmosphere combo like with Cosmos. There has been a lot going on regarding the SIG patches situation. So I'm going to clear that up. I'm going to tell you which SIG patches you need for what and I will walk you through what it is you need to do with them because those of you who especially use like Cosmos or the Hecate Atmosphere combo, things have changed up a little bit. And the normal place where we get SIG patches from is not there anymore. And there's quite a few floating around. So we're gonna clear all of that up and hopefully clear up the confusion. This is not going to show you how to jailbreak your switch from the ground up. It's assumed because you use Atmosphere that you already know your way around the modded switch. So I'm not even gonna fire up my system. I'm just gonna show you what it is you need to do, walk you through that part. And it's just going to revolve around the SIG patches so you can get your games working again, get back up and running on 10.0.0. So with all of that, let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so let's start off with those of you who just use Atmosphere All Plain Vanilla because it's the easiest. Make sure you grab the latest Atmosphere, which as of right now is 11.1. .1. This is for those of you, again, who just use the Fusey Primary Bin. You don't use, you know, Hecate in order to uh, boot up Atmosphere. You just use plain Jane Vanilla Atmosphere. Then for those of you who use that, you'll need to come here and grab this zip file. It's 2.0.0-10.0.0. Once you download that zip, open it up. You'll see a folder there, go into it, and then you'll see an atmosphere folder. Grab that atmosphere folder and put it on the root of your SD card. And for those of you that use vanilla atmosphere, that is all you need to do. If you still have issues with your games, stick around to the near the end of the video and I will give you a recommendation on what it is you may need to do in order to um, get your games back up and running again. Now, for those of you who use Hecate with Atmosphere or you use Cosmos, it's a little bit different. Okay, so for those of you who use Cosmos, you need to grab the latest version, which as of right now is 15.6. It just came out a few hours ago. Of course, it has the latest Atmosphere, 11.1, uh, .1, and it comes with all these homebrews, which are uh, updated to work to 10.0 as well. You're gonna go ahead and grab the zip file from right here. Now. I want to make a note of something before we continue. In the last release in 15.5, it stated here that before you updated, you needed to come here and delete this folder first. Now this is just the Tesla folder. So if you don't use the Tesla overlay menu, you don't have to worry about it. But if after you do this update, you realize that Tesla menu isn't working or it's kind of wonky or whatever, you may have to go delete this folder and then just reinstall the files again. Now this latest version does not say anywhere to delete that folder. So I don't know, maybe they fixed it or whatnot. I just thought I'd let you know. So after you grab that 15.6 zip file, you need to come here to this GitHub page, which will bring you here. And then you need to download the loader.kip file and the patches.ini file. For those who are using Hecate to launch Atmosphere, you will also need these two files. And after you've downloaded those files, 
both groups of people, those of you who use Cosmos and those of you who use Hecate to launch Atmosphere, you will also need to copy this script right here, paste it somewhere because we're going to use it in a little bit. Okay, so for those of you who are using Cosmos, make sure you grab that 15.6 zip file, okay, and just copy and paste everything to the root of your SD card. So you can see I have like my SD card right here. Just copy and paste everything over. If you are prompted to overwrite or replace files, just hit yes, and that's it. You are done and your Cosmos has been updated. Now, from this point forward, everything I'm going to cover is going to be the same for both the Cosmos people and those of you who use Hecate to launch Atmosphere. The process is exactly the same. Both of you have SD cards, which pretty much look similar anyway, and you'll be able to follow along because you should have the same folders and everything. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're here at the root of your SD card. Go into the Atmosphere folder, and when you are here, create a new folder and call it KIPS, all lowercase, K-I-P-S. Open up that folder, and now you will put the loader kip file into this newly created folder. Go back out to the root of your SD card, go into the bootloader folder, and now copy and paste the patches ini file into this folder. Okay, so now that you've done that, in this same folder, you will find a file called hecate underscore IPL dot ini. You need to open that with any notepad program you want. I use notepad plus plus, but any will do. You're gonna scroll down to the custom firmware section. In the entry that says uh, CFW Sysnand, you're gonna scroll down to here where you see the payload dot BMP. Just hit enter, and what you're going to do is you are going to copy those two lines of script that you copied and pasted earlier. We're gonna copy them, and we're gonna put them right there. Okay, so it looks like this. You're gonna do the same thing here in the CFW EMUMMC section. Come to the payload.bmp, hit enter, and then just paste. Now go ahead and hit save. So it saves the file and that's it, you are done. You can now take your SD card, put it back into your switch and boot up like normal. If you're using um, Cosmos, you'll boot into Hecate and launch Atmosphere. If you're just using Hecate to launch Atmosphere, go ahead and do that however you normally do and you should be good to go. Everything should be working again. There may be some homebrews that have not been updated to work with 10.0. So if they don't work yet, look for updates to those homebrews. But everything should be working, including your games, whether you're on Cosmos or whether you just use Hecate and Atmosphere uh, separately, everything should be good. All right, so if at this point, you're still having issues with your games where maybe some work, but some don't, you're getting maybe some corruption errors or something like that when you try to launch your games. Let me go ahead and point you to a video I did prior that may be able to help you out with that. All right, so if you continue to have those problems, you can come here to this video I made not too long ago, and you can start it up from the 10 minute and eight second mark. You don't have to watch the whole thing because we've pretty much already done uh, almost everything in the video. We've done it in this one. So start it from there. What you're basically gonna have to do is pretty much delete those games that are giving you issues, go into Gold Leaf, remove any unused tickets that have been left behind, maybe after you deleted the games, and then once you've done that, then reinstall them. That way they reinstall fresh and then they should work. So just follow it from there. You can see there's not much left on the video. So I appreciate you guys watching. And if you found anything here informative, useful, helpful in any way, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation to the channel, you guys know the best way to do that, as always, is just to hit that like button. Much love going out to everyone. Be careful, guys. Be safe, but have fun. And we will see you on the next one.